Thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you, Dr. Lachinko. Uh, before I get started, I want to also reiterate what my colleagues, uh, colleagues said about catch share. My fishermen, too, are concerned about that, and they have brought it to my attention, and I have met with several of them. They are worried about being put out of business by larger groups. And um, along that line, I would like to talk to you for a moment about an issue which is a little bit really an incredibly urgent matter, and it, it is something that I find very troubling. You are probably aware of, in July of 08, your agency issued a letter to the South Atlantic Fishery Management Council that the South Atlantic red snapper stock is overfished and undergoing overfishing. This is a massive problem for the State of Florida. The decision is costing thousands of jobs in Florida, and again, it is about jobs in the economy, and throughout the country, and will potentially decimate $13 billion industry. I have heard from fishermen in my district and across the state that NOAA's efforts to manage the fish populations are hurting fishermen in the name of incorrect and insufficient science, scientific data. Now, I was there at one of the meetings and heard one of your people, one of your representatives say that it, it was flawed. As recently as February 17th, Roy Crabtree, the Southeast Regional Administrator for NOAA's Fisheries Service, said the latest science suggests that the planned area closure is not necessary for the red snapper population to continue to improve. NOAA website says NOAA is an agency that enriches life through science. Could you explain what science you are using to enrich the lives of fishermen in Florida with these rules to halt, halt fishing a red snapper? And beyond that, how are you even able to pay for this science when your own budget requests you are decreasing the amount of money being spent on the research? Congresswoman, the fisheries, uh, especially for the red snapper to which you refer, uh, are vitally important ones. Uh, I fully appreciate how important uh, they are to the economy, uh, not only of Florida, but to the region generally. Uh, we are uh, required by the Magnuson-Stevens Reauthorization Act to use the best available information to make our determinations about the status of different stocks. Uh, and to set catch limits and accordingly. Can you please be very succinct, because I have uh, more questions and I do want some answers. Um, but your own people are saying your data is flawed. So if your data is flawed and they recognize it, why are you implementing it without further research? Just quickly, Con shortly. Congresswoman, the initial determination was based on information that was available. New information became available that is more current and said that the closure is no longer needed. And so we are doing exactly what we have been told by Congress to do, which is to update uh, decisions based on new information when it becomes available, and that is exactly what we have done. 